Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Wednesday the 4th of April and this is my daily stock signals video where I choose one of the signals from our Wave5 Trade membership and to uh, set it up and give you an example of, of, of what we do. So firstly, our members receive both long and short signals every day on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. These are swing trade signals for the fifth wave and Elliott wave move in a trend and the fifth wave move is the highest probability move in a trend as well. So it's a high probability trade. I've gone for longs because we've been in a sustained pullback just recently. Uh, so members just click on the potential long trades for example, click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has weekly daily and 60 minute signals i'm choosing daily and i'm choosing the uh netflix potential trade here uh, on the daily time frame these are all the ones for today so let's have a look at the chart for netflix okay so this is netflix on the daily uh, this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. We have it available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and Multicharts also. Um, firstly, the Signals membership get signals that are filtered. So, first of all, we have the 535 oscillator down here, the green and red. That's pulled back between 19 and 140% here. So, that's a good tick in the box. We have the filter also for the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone and the wave falls pulled back into our automated probability zones here that pull back against the main bullish trend. So for the members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we need to isolate the start of the wave count here and towards the end of last year, Netflix came very range bound and then moved out of the range and started this trend that we're in at the moment. So we need to isolate the bar count around about 441 here, or 444, right just before we start this move. So then the, the uh, indicator sweep gives us the Elliott wave count. So let's zoom in a little bit here and discuss the wave four pullback. So the wave falls pulled back and found initial support here in the amber zone of our high probability zone. So that's an 80% probability if it finds support here going on to make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue. So for entry for this one, I want to be quite aggressive with this. I don't want to be too conservative. We do use the 6-4 moving average high here, the green moving average for conservative entries but I want to be a little bit more aggressive with Netflix in case we get one or two days bullish momentum in the markets we could get quite a big move in Netflix because it has had quite a big profit taking pullback and on Tuesday here we've got this indecision doji form uh, which could be this consolidation before the move up so I've put a regression trend channel in here for the fourth wave coming down and I want to be outside of that regression channel uh, so I've gone for an entry at 304.32 with a stop loss around about 274.35 so the stop loss is below the low of the wave four from Monday and the entry for Wednesday's bar position is outside of the regression trend channel at 304.32. So that gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our target zone. A target's around about 354, something like that, into this zone. If it doesn't trigger Wednesday, uh, we'll still keep that uh, entry position good because if we get to Thursday and Friday, uh, we've still not broken that wave four low. We're looking to then get through this trade through the 6-4 moving average high as well. So as long as the wave 4 doesn't break, so this low of Monday doesn't, doesn't get broken and we start to move up here, this trade is good for the long on Netflix with a potential target of around about 354. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.